Good morning. See behind me, I have an awesome vista today. We're having excellent temperatures today. I think it's into the 40s. And the, the only weather related issue that I have to deal with today is this wind. But the wind is mostly coming this way and I'm able to use my van to block the wind. You can see I'm set up right on the side of the van and I'm using this big white vehicle as a wind block. I'm loving the quality of light today. I'm loving the atmosphere. So many layers of hills going back into the distance and that's what I'm interested in painting. The trick is to grab onto the essentials and get this painting started as quickly as possible. I'm going to be working on an 18 inch by 24 inch canvas today and I do have some clouds rolling in so hopefully I can finish this thing off in a couple of hours. There's nothing left to do but to do it let's capture this beautiful February winter day. Clouds didn't roll in and I had a couple of hours to finish this one up. Here's a look at the painting. Oh, so we've got the little barn. See that little barn back in the distance? And we go through this whole valley and back to those background bluffs. What a wonderful day to be out here. The sun is shining. The temperatures are right around 40. And I haven't painted outside at all this past week because the temperatures were so cold that today it just felt great. I had all of my ambition stored up within me and it felt easy to come out here and paint. Winter paintings are special to me because we can get a little bit of that sparkle of light. I'll remember this location and, and we'll be back out here. We're back out here at the scene. We're at the scene of the crime. Uh, it's not really a crime, we're just back. We're back for a little more painting today. Oh look, here's a pencil. So I am in the right spot. I just found a pencil that I must have left out here the other day. I took a look at this painting in the studio and I just thought that there was a couple things that I'd like to change and overall I think that another layer of paint would really benefit this painting. It's more beneficial to take the time to get things where I want them to be. And today I was heading up into the studio to start working on a new painting but all of a sudden the sun came out and I thought to myself why don't I go back out to Hillsboro and work on that painting of the Vernon County Hills and so that's what we're doing I'm just going to add another layer of paint I think I'm going to be able to add a little bit more sparkle when I looked at it in the studio I thought the bones the foundation of the painting the bones are good the abstract composition all that kind of stuff is good and I just think that spending another couple hours on this painting is really going to make it sing and I'm really glad that I came out because it's a honestly it's a beautiful day last time I was out here it was so windy but today it's very calm and it's and we're heading into the 40s all week you can see I've got basically the same effect behind me that I had when I started and the thing that's different today is that I've got Porter with me you can see right behind me so we'll see how that works out hopefully he can stick around and not go running off into this little quarry that's behind me or something like that. All right, well, I'm gonna set my easel up and get started. Today, we're gonna finish off this painting of these Vernon County Hills.
we gotta be quiet because Porter's sleeping, but we're finishing up the painting. Was able to do what I wanted to do today. I came out and I was able to work in a whole lot of color into the painting and an extra layer of paint because I'm working on stretch canvas. The first day's work kind of was absorbed into the canvas and today coming out and working on it again, it just gave it that, that interesting surface quality that I'm after in my paintings. And so I started off by reworking the sky and then I came down and I reworked a lot of the snow areas and the bluffs. And I worked kind of from the background to the foreground in today's painting session. There's really no working method that I always follow. And the more I'm out in the field, the more the answers and the solutions just come at the right time. But the good thing about that is that I don't have to sit around thinking about painting all the time because I know that if I get out and work and if I work regularly, the problems on the canvas are going to be solved and the paintings are going to happen. And that's hopefully what I'm trying to do, is to just solve those problems in new and creative ways and to create good work that I'm proud of. What a beautiful day. I love setting up late in the winter on top of ridges like this, capturing the atmospheric conditions. And that's going to wrap it up for today. I'm going to pack things up. We'll see what the rest of the day brings, but whatever I do for the rest of the day, I'm going to have the satisfaction of having finish something that I'm happy with and I'm also happy that you were here with me during this time. All right, thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. This piece up here, we've got some more graphic shapes. I tend to be a painter who enjoys breaking down the complex into the simplified. I think that in art, that's a good thing to do. And this is a good example of that. The way that Devil's Lake is just a shape. The way that those rocks just become shapes. Shape making. A lot of times too, it's the landscape will be doing something that will create an emotion inside of the painter and that plays a part in it too. These Amish oat shocks, the late golden hour light just transformed everything. What the landscape was doing, what mother nature was doing was almost more important than anything that I was doing. There's beauty right, right outside of our doors and what the landscape is doing definitely has an effect on what I'm doing. A friend of mine was here yesterday and she was commenting, it's just like a little abstract of the river and, and that's a really cool thing to hear because these patches of water and the trees and everything else, that was just some muddy day down by the river. It still is worth celebrating and it still is worth making a painting about. That was like a sleepy November kind of a day.